About six or seven months ago, the U.S. Supreme Court was posed with a pretty simple question. Should Donald Trump or any other president have absolute immunity? Well, that's a ridiculous question. They shouldn't have even taken this up. They shouldn't have heard it. They should have sent it back and say, this is ridiculous. But that's not what they did. They decided they were going to discuss it and consider it. Well, Jack Smith said, you know, we can speed this up. We can make this a lot faster. How about that? And, of course, the Supreme Court said, no, nah, no, nah, we'll just take our time with this. And they did take their time. They're taking it all the way down to the last minute of the last day of this term. That's tomorrow. Presumably, they're going to come out with a decision on the absolute immunity question by Donald Trump. Now, nobody really knows what they're going to say. Are they going to try to split the baby here and give a little bit of a win to Donald Trump and then make the obvious choice that nobody has absolute immunity? The most important thing about this is they've been successful in helping Donald Trump. They delayed this thing and delayed this thing for six to seven months when it was absolutely unnecessary. It was absolutely ridiculous. But tomorrow we'll find out what they say. They could say he has no immunity. Or they could say, well, only under certain things, but mostly he doesn't have immunity. Or they could send it back to the lower court, whatever they do. The bottom line here is that Donald Trump is not going to get absolute immunity no matter what. If he did, well, then so would Joe Biden and every other future president. That's not going to happen. Supreme Court's not even corrupt enough to do that. Donald Trump is out on uh, True Social right now, crying and whining and begging for absolute immunity. I really think in his sick little mind he thinks he might get it. Well, I'm sorry, Donnie. Nobody with half a brain believes you're going to get absolute immunity. And the big problem with that is, is if he doesn't get absolute immunity, that pretty much takes away all his defense in his future three trials, criminal trials that he's got to face. If he can't get immunity, he's fucked. <laughs> and if he can't win the presidency, he's fucked. So Donald Trump, for all intents and purposes right now, is fucked. So we'll see what happens with this decision from the Supreme Court. Um, either way, Donald Trump's not going to like it. 